Italian squad for the 2021 Six Nations. Man, I'm complaining about the heat, but it's hot again. I'm sweating here in this Italian jersey. Very, very sweet looking uh, Italian jersey. One of the better jerseys out there. Now, in terms of the six Six Nations teams, Italy is the one I always struggle the most with. I'm the least familiar with the players. My pronunciation of Italian names is across the board pretty bad. It's getting better over time. But still, forgive me for a distinct lack of knowledge around some of these guys, especially some of the newcomers. Uh, but the great thing about this channel is there will be great insights in the comments. I always learn a lot from reading the comments. So it's a good one to have a scroll through. Um, rather than just looking at the whiteboard, the scroll through of the comments will certainly have some good insights on who we should be looking out for in the side. The side is pretty young pretty young compared to all the sides I've looked at and I've looked at all the other teams so far. The average age of the forwards is around 24 and the backs is around 24. All the other sides were like, I think at least 26, more like 27, maybe 28 in some positions. So that doesn't sound like a huge difference, but that means overall the squad is just very young. You don't have a heck of a lot of guys in their 30s. Do we even have any 30 year olds in this squad? Not a single one. We do have a teenager but we don't have any 30 year olds so it's a young young side hopefully that means we're building for the future not playing the old boys to get beaten but anyway we'll get on with it uh bg lucchesi and my are the hookers bg is captain uh 29 years old 32 caps he's your veteran he's your experienced guy he's going to start 100 percent of the time uh then the other two guys 20 and 23 years old respectively two caps and no caps there's a bit of a void there, which we will need to fill with some minutes, but obviously BG is going to be your guy. He's going to get 50, 60 minutes a game, and then the rest will go to whoever is his backup. But with two caps and no caps, it's time to start giving them some minutes ASAP. With Giraldini having retired, that does leave you that space. Uh, it's kind of good that he's retired, because I know he's a, he's a legend of the game in Italian rugby, he's it's good that he's been able to go out on his own terms unfortunately not with like the full proper send-off with fans and whatnot but it's good that it didn't just end at the world cup on a bit of an anti-climax so yeah it's a pity to see him go but it's time to give these other guys uh, a chance to shine the props Cicerelli, Fischetti, Riccone, uh, Rimpelli, Traore and Zilocchi again pretty young pretty and the oldest is Cicerelli who's 28 and that's not that old for a prop. You're kind of just starting to get into the peak of your powers at 28. Uh, the other guys, 23, 23, 23, uh, 26, and 24. So overall, pretty young. At the Autumn Nations Cup, it was all for Schetti and Zilocchi. Zilocchi, the tight head. Um, I think they started pretty much every game. That's the preferred front row combo, seemingly, from Franco Smith thus far. Uh, Willie changed that up. Again, man, uh, Rimpelli is uncapped. Most of these guys, apart from... Uh, Cicerelli who's got 14 caps uh, Troyer has got 10 and zilocchi has got 10 all these guys are in single digits and we're talking 10, 10 and 14 so not vast amounts experienced uh, there either whatever happened to Ferrari is he still injured anyway uh, move on to the locks you got Canoni Favretto Lazzaroni CC and Stoyan again pretty young man your oldest guy is 27 and that's CC. He's been around for a wee while, but it's surprising that he's only got 11 caps. Uh, Lazzaroni and Canoni seem to be the main guys in the Autumn Nations Cup. Whether that's going to remain the same case here. I think Stoyan only got a few minutes. He's got two caps. Young man, three minutes or four minutes maybe from the bench towards the end of some of those games uh, in the Autumn Nations Cup. But yeah, it's it's young. So you guys who watch Italian rugby will have to let us know. Favoretto, he's uncapped. He's 19 years old. Is he a good prospect? Is he going to maybe sneak the bench behind the likes of Lazzaroni and Canone? I don't know. I don't know. If, have I ever heard of him? Possibly, but I can't I can't put a face to it. Just looking at his name. Uh, the back row, Lamaro, Mbanda, Maya, Negri, and Rutsa. Rutsa. Haven't I seen Rutsa play lock or am I dreaming? Um, the key guys here, I mean, obviously there's no Poledri. He's injured and he is... He is such a good player. I'm so sad to see him not playing. I can't emphasize enough how good Jake Poledri is. He's honestly, Italian rugby is so, so lucky to have him. He is absolutely class. He gets turnovers. 
He gets a huge amount of tackle busts. He's just a phenomenal, irreplaceable player. But he got injured in the Autumn Nations Cup. And Bramstein is also out as well. So the usual suspects are kind of not there. Mbanda played six, I think, from the games after Poledri had pulled out. And Maya, I think, played seven when Star Stain moved to eight. But now you've even got Stain as well. So, yeah, I mean, Negri's a good player. Uh, Rutsa, I really like. He's dynamic. But, yeah, Lamaro with two caps, 22 years old. I've... The name rings a bell, but I can't I can't really put a, a face to it as well. So I think it's pretty happy. I mean, most of the teams I look at, their back row, I think you'd be pretty happy that without two of your top dogs, you've still got Mbanda, you've still got Maya, you've still got Negri Ruta. So there's still some good players who can step up to the plate. That's one area where you're not lacking for a bit of depth. But again, check the comments because other people will be letting us know who else we should be looking out for. Uh, Braley, Palazzani, and Vani are the scrum halves. So three scrum halves. I think they rotated between a couple of guys. Was it Vani and Palazzani at the Autumn Nations Cup? So it's maybe one that's still a little bit still a little bit up for grabs as to who's the one who gets the job. Maybe Vani at 19 is is the guy. Palazzani is certainly the experienced guy with 41 caps. Vani's only got the three, but again, at 19, Palazzani's 29. Where do you pour the minutes into building into a World Cup? I mean, 29 years old, going into a World Cup a couple of years, you've still got time to build. Uh, fly Half is also an interesting one, because Tommaso Allen seemed to have that jersey sewn up for as long as he wanted it. It was only like McKinley who was maybe sometimes getting a, a spot at least a couple of years ago. But now um, Garbisi has come on the, on the scene. And he's looked like he's got heaps of potential. He's only 20. He was playing for Italy without much professional rugby experience so he is raw talent who's only going to get better he's been blooded pretty early he showed some moments of brilliance i think he scored a try against ireland like a proper little step nice little move um yeah heaps of potential in him 20 years old five caps alan 27 years old 60 caps he is your veteran um carlo Kana is there as well but the way franco smith likes to play him is at 12 so he likes the, the dual playmakers thing and Carlo kind of looks like the kind of guy, like if you were looking at a team and thinking, which one of these guys do I reckon I could maybe break a tackle of? Like, you know, when you am daydreaming, like Gaza, my old man, often talks about, oh, I wouldn't want to get tackled by him. Or alternatively, I would like to tackle him. Carlo Kana with the little mustache, sometimes you're thinking, hey, he doesn't look, he's got a really good tackle rate. It's surprising. He looks like a guy who shouldn't be able to tackle. He looks like a typical fly half who should be awful defensively. I mean, I'm not saying he gets dominant tackles, but his tackle numbers are always quite high. Double digits, a lot of games. And the percentage is solid. So uh, surprising from him. But again, if you are going to play Garbisi, it's nice to have an experienced guy outside you. So maybe he can distribute to Kana if we need to kick to get out of trouble. It just takes the pressure off Garbisi. Um... Midfielders, you got Brex, Ignacio Brex. I don't know him. Is that even the pronunciation? Uh, he is uncapped. He plays for Benetton. Maybe I've seen Benetton play, you know, enough times, but I don't remember him. Uh, Mori and Zanon are there as well. Zanon, he's only got four caps, 23 years old. Uh, somebody mentioned it to me on Twitter. He does look really good. He looked really good in the Autumn Nations Cup. Uh, Mori, 20 years old, five caps. So again, it's pretty young. I mean, you got 28 years old in, uh, in Kana and 47 caps. But the other guys are all really inexperienced. Uh, outside backs, Bellini, Ioanni, Sperandio, and Trua. Trua, I think we've seen again play a few times in the Autumn Nations Cup. Another one of those guys, maybe former Italy under-20s coming through. Uh, Ioanni is a guy who, he's only got that one cap. But man, I hope he gets more caps. Because he's one guy that when I have seen Benetton play, really catches the eye. He is a very, very dynamic player. Italian rugby is is lucky to have him along. So hopefully he does pretty well. Uh, the key name here you're missing is Matteo Minozzi. He has withdrawn. He's basically said the idea of the bubble is not appealing. He's tired. He can't do it right now. And like Joe Marl has done the same thing for England. So I think we understand that one. Um, he's a wicked talent and we love to see him play. But since his kind of breakout season, he's not being quite that same level. You often see him with a with like a brace on his knee kind of thing. So maybe he, he is 
you know, going to be doing all right to just take a break from things and hopefully he gets back into the Italian squad when he's fresh and ready to go. Uh, Odogwu was a guy who was potentially on the Italian radar, but Eddie Jones has called him up for England, and once he gets a cap, he will be out of the picture. I'm not sure what's happened to Campagnaro. Where's he disappeared to? That's like, when you look at how inexperienced the squad is, it would have been nice to see Campagnaro. I'm not sure if he's injured or just not selected. Uh, Violi, also the guy who was playing scrum half, uh, during the Oil Nations Cup a fair bit is also conspicuous in his absence. But yeah, the Italians, like I mentioned, they struggled at times to crack the defense of the other teams in the Autumn Nations Cup. Their own defense would be solid for large periods, but then it would just have some really poor moments where they were quite, yeah, you know, quite easily opened up. So they need to be an 80 minute team. They need to get the execution a little bit better. That's all very well and good to say. Average age of the forwards is 24. Average age of the backs is 24. That's young. Most of the sides were 26 at the minimum, 27 and 28. And like when you're working out the average, like, you know, there's nobody who's 30 years old in the squad. The other squads have got like 35 year olds, 34 year olds. None of these guys are even 30. The oldest is 29 and that's Biji and Palazzani. Lots of young guys in the squad. 24 is the average age. is ridiculously young. Average number of caps is 13. Very inexperienced squad. But I like it, man, because if you're gonna, if you've seen a bunch of veterans like Giraldini, like Parise, you know, you've seen a lot of guys, the old guard, kind of leave. If you're building for a World Cup and a hell of a pool that they've got, you need to be giving some young guys a chance. So yeah, like I said, I know there's two camps about the Italians, people who want them cut from the Six Nations and they're terrible, and other people who can see some some building work going on, whether it's been, I don't know, however many years, but I hope they do well, man. I hope they do well. I know the wooden spoon is, is the prediction, but anyway, uh, for all you guys who are putting comments with guys to look out for with some insights on these uncapped guys, on some of the low cap guys like Lamaro, like Stoyan, like uh, Favretto, like Manfredi, do let us know which guys are looking the business, who we should be looking out for, other guys who are not in the squad who could have made it, other guys who are potentially injured and not named, like I mentioned Poledri, I mentioned Manozzi, not injured but just chose not to play, I mentioned Brumstein, but I'm sure there are others. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you again soon, see you later.